in December 1891, the newspapers had a field day with a case that came up at Marylebone Police Court at which Henry Mead was charged with having burgled the house of Mr. and Mrs. Walter in Randolph Road, Maida Vale. It wasn't so much the crime that caught the imagination of the press, but rather the circumstances under which the intrepid burglar had been caught. The Midland Daily Telegraph covered the story on Wednesday the 9th of December, 1891. Early yesterday morning, a police inspector observed a light moving about in a house in Randolph Road, made a veil, in a manner which excited his suspicion. He obtained the assistance of other policemen who surrounded the house, and he then rang up the occupier of the premises. On examination, it was found that a burglar had entered the house by climbing up the pipe to the lavatory window, and that, after ransacking the place, the thief had treated himself to a supper of bacon and eggs, which he cooked over a gas stove. A man named Henry Mead was found in the scullery and was arrested. He was remanded yesterday at the Marlebone Police Court on the charge of burglary. The Globe, in its edition of Wednesday the 9th of December, found the episode as irresistible as Meade had found the allure of a fry-up, and it published the following tongue-in-cheek article about the culinary exploits of the audacious housebreaker. Burglars, it will appear, are falling victims to the luxurious customs of the day and their profession suffers very seriously from the desire to sup before they go, like greedy Nan in the nursery rhyme. Mr. Henry Mead, a burglar of great talent and promise, having broken into a house in Maida Vale, and arranged such valuables as seemed to be suitable for export, yielded to this untimely appetite, and regaled himself with sherry and a dish of eggs and bacon, which he cooked over the gas stove. He made himself so comfortable, and was so loath to return to the business in hand, that he was surprised in his feast by the police. The West Somerset Free Press on Saturday the 12th of December had this to say about the case. Henry Mead, an enterprising burglar, is also something of a bon vivant, and his weakness for a good feed has got him into trouble. He had successfully burgled a house in Maida Vale, and had packed together a miscellaneous assortment of unconsidered trifles with a view to their immediate transport, and might have got away with his booty. But appetite intervened. There was sherry, and as drinking without taking food at the same time is generally condemned by the medical faculty, Mead cooked some bacon and eggs by means of a gas stove, and laid himself out to enjoy himself. It was in the midst of this delicate repast that he was surprised and arrested by a policeman, and the probability is that he will be a stranger to bacon and eggs for some months to come. The umpire featured Mr. Mead's sizzling escapade in its edition of Sunday the 13th of December, and having provided details of the burglar's midnight feast, ended the article by punning. Had he contented himself with a glass of sherry and a biscuit, he would have saved his own as well as his host's bacon. As it was, he couldn't have been rasher, could he? The Illustrated Police News on Saturday the 19th of December published a fairly detailed article on how Mead had been apprehended. At Marlebone Police Court, a young man of determined appearance, who gave his name as Henry Mead, was charged with breaking and entering the house of Mr. and Mrs. Philip Walter in Randolph Road, Maida Hill, and stealing a marble clock and three overcoats, valued at ten pounds. Inspector Newlands and Sergeant Stevenson noticed suspicious signs in the prosecutor's house, and, having taken necessary precautions to prevent the escape of the burglars, rang the bell three or four times. When Mr. Walter was aroused and opened the front door, they together entered the dining room and found the gas alight. All the cupboards were open, and the place was strewn with books and papers. In the scullery in the basement he found the prisoner, who was at once told he would be arrested on a charge of burglary. 
It was discovered that an entrance had been affected by the prisoner climbing onto a party wall at the rear of the premises, on the top of which he placed a garden table, and standing thereon he got hold of a stack pipe and climbed up it to the sill of the lavatory window. There was evidence that the prisoner had been thoroughly enjoying himself, for in the scullery were an empty plate, a knife and fork, and the remains of a bottle of sherry, which had been abstracted from the cellaret. The prisoner had been feasting on eggs and bacon, which he had cooked on a gas stove. He had evidently made himself comfortable, for he had taken a chair and a table into the scullery, and, in order to prevent taking cold while he enjoyed himself, he had folded double an old sack, which he laid on the stone floor, to rest his feet upon. The coats had been taken from the hall, and were found in the scullery. The clock was on the breakfast-room table, and was ready to be taken away. The magistrate remanded the prisoner. On the 11th of January, 1892, Henry Mead appeared at the Old Bailey, charged with burglary in the dwelling-house of Philip Walter, and with stealing a clock and three coats. He pleaded guilty, and was sentenced to eighteen months' hard labour. And thus Henry Mead slunk from the limelight to serve his prison term, and to contemplate how his ravenous appetite had proved his undoing. What became of him on his release is uncertain. But whatever became of him, whether he opted to go straight or resumed his life of crime, it's probably safe to say that Mr. Henry Mead, the bon vivant burglar, had lost his appetite for bacon and eggs whilst out on the job. <laughs>